Jeff Blankman talking right now with Mitchell Ludwig and Jacob Fleischman from the uh, Kimber Boys Golf Team as they took on Lewis Central out here at the Muni today. We'll start off with a Mitchell who's here to my left. Uh, Mitchell, uh, sounds like a low score at least uh, for the first four golfers in for Kemper today. Uh, pretty good round so far today? Yeah, pretty good. Hit basically every shot right down the middle and where I wanted it to go. Had a few up and downs, but that kept me in it. And had a few birdies, and that got me to one under. Did you kind of sense this coming? Uh, was your game gradually kind of coming to this today through the earlier tournaments, or has it been a struggle and today was just a nice turnaround? Well, first me tournament, I shot even. And then on Saturday it was a little rough, but decided to come back after that really bad round. <laughs> So this feels good to come back after something bad like that. Just a little more mental focus today, or what do you what do you contribute the success to? I don't know, maybe just comfortability and a little bit of focus. But other than that, I don't really know. Maybe I just lost my swing for a day. Let's start off. You started on one. Did you get off to a great start right away that very first swing of the day? Yeah, I was about. I'd, I was inside 200 off my drive, and I got a nine iron to about 30 feet, and my eagle putt rolled over the edge of the hole, and I got a birdie. So that started off the day good, and I just went from there. How many more holes did you birdie, and which ones were they? I birdied number eight, and I bogeyed. I think I birdied. I think I bogeyed three. Bogeyed so just, three. Two birdies and bogey. Okay. After getting that birdie on one, how did two play out for you? Uh, two was all right. I pulled my drive a little bit, but I got my chip onto the back of the game and it was two putting. So getting up and down and putting was really good for me today. Was it, say, so was it better than the drive? You kind of sounded like you were in the fairway and kind of straight most of the day, but it, was it the irons that were really the best? Yeah, my chipping and my long irons were really good today. Which did you think was your best hole of the day? I'd say eight, because I was about five yards off the green, and then I chipped to within two feet, and then I burned it. What was the break on that chip? How did you read it? Um, Where were you at off the green? Which part of the green? I was off the front right side of the green, so I was going to break a little bit left. So I hit it, it got up the hill, started breaking a little left, but I left it short, so it didn't even have a chance, but that's all right. Did you like where the pin placement was at today? Uh, I'd rather have it in the middle, but front's not too bad because you can just give it a little nice little bump and run up there. Most of the holes pretty consistent with it on the front today. Uh, a lot of them were on the back, but I'd say they're about even front and back. Not okay. many middle pins today. Noticed on four, uh, you, you came off of the tee box with a, with a with a with an iron today. Uh, I heard a few people kind of going, "Ooh, an iron off of four. What, what was the reasoning with that? Uh, usually off of four, I take a three iron because I can't really hit a draw with my driver. Okay. So I try to hit a little shorter, but I pushed a little bit and I got behind some trees, and then I just got a little punch out of the trees and got on the green and made par still. I tell you what, congratulations on a great round. I appreciate you joining us here today. Thank you. Let's move over now to Jacob. And Jacob, uh, kind of an up and down round for you today. Uh, sure kind of explain to the listeners and the watchers here what I mean when I say an up and down round. Well, in total today I had uh, I had four birdies and I tripled, well, I started off at two, I doubled two, and I tripled number six. So pretty up and down today, but... I'm pleased with 36, but it could have been a lot better. How frustrating is that on the course, or are you pretty good at just blocking it out of the mind after that? When you when you have, you know, you're, you're shooting well enough to birdie some holes, but then you have those holes where it's like, ah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty it's pretty frustrating for the most part because you know you could have gone, you, I could have gone low today, but I, I did block out those holes pretty well for the most part, and I just tried to focus on the present, so that helped me out too. You've been shooting pretty low all year. You've been pretty consistent with the scores that I've been seeing. What was the difference, do you think, today? Uh, today, well, the conditions are fine, and it's my home course, so that's I'm pretty comfortable here. But uh, on Monday, I shot one under here, and I didn't have any holes that really that were high numbers. And today, I had a couple high number holes, so that was the difference in not shooting too well. Talk about the four birdie holes today. Which four were they, and how'd you birdie them? Uh, hole number one, I uh, hit it pretty good off the tee, but I was to the right side, and I, had, I was probably 150 out, and I had a pitching wedge to about 20 feet, and I two putted for birdie. Number four, I piped my drive right down the middle, and then I laid up about 30 yards, and then I had uh, 
probably a 10-footer that was on the top edge of the slope, and it was a pretty tough putt, but that leaked in there, and I birdied number seven, par three. I hit that probably within two feet, actually. I stuck that pretty well. I made that putt, and number nine, I hit my drive to the left, and I hit a mediocre chip to up number nine, probably 20 feet still. And it was a downhill putt, so I wasn't going to get too aggressive with it, but it curled down on the left side. So Best putt of the day was that one, or yeah, did you have another sure. one? For sure, it was number nine. Anything else close to that one as far as putting today? Um, number eight, uh, I was probably 15 feet out. It was a pretty straight putt, and I knew if I hit it solid that it was probably going to go in, but it did, that just leaked out on the left side. But other than that, Jake, you said this is your home course. You're comfortable here, but what is it about this course, knowing it, that how do you mentally come in, going, "This is how I need to play this course"? Yeah, I've played it so many times before. I know, I know what the greens are like. I know where to place my tee, tee shot, and it's just getting yourself in position off the tee so you can be aggressive. And if you can be aggressive here, then you're going to shoot low. So. Which is your favorite hole here on the course? Uh, probably number one, actually, because it's. 450 yard par five and there's not many par fives that you can hit a pitching wedge into so that's nice. Well Jake appreciate you joining us today. Congratulations on the round. Thanks Jeff.